Hi y'all. Hi everybody. It's Kimberly here. Hmm. I tried to go get my Coke today and oh my god, these people. It's a great restaurant, but oh, it probably took at least a minute for me to order a Route 44 Coke with half the ice. Route 44 Coke with half the ice. I mean, it took, I had to repeat it about uh, seven or eight times. And then finally I just got mad and I drove up to the window. I wish I would have recorded it. Next time I'm going to record it. But I was so, uh, I was getting so, uh, it just makes me so mad. I can't even order it. Sometimes, uh, oh, well, anyway. Uh, but I have a different, I went to go get another one because <laughs> it made me so. And this is a blank one, but from another place. Um, I'm going to do another installment of my biggest fears. And this is a little bit of a, I guess, a phobia, I guess. I think a lot of people actually have it. And it has an actual name. Oh, I don't remember what it is, though. Like a, a from the American... Psych, what do you call it? The A A. I want to say ASPCA, but <laughs> the Association of Psychiatrists or whatever it is, the National American Psychological Association, whatever. They gave it a name, and it's a fear of clowns. I can't remember what it's called, but I have a fear of clowns, and um, I think. The first time that I saw a real clown, like, I used to see them on TV and everything when I was a child, and I didn't really think they were funny. I just thought they were strange and just, you know, why would somebody dress up like that? They're not funny, you know? I mean, they're just honking a little horn or doing this and doing, I don't know, my, my mind at that age was just too, I just thought it was so childish or something, I don't know. But then when I saw one... We went to the circus when I was seven years old, and I saw, you know, real clowns in real life. And they creeped me out. I just, I didn't like them, and I just, I, I could tell that it was a man behind the makeup. So, I mean, I didn't have the, like my nephews, I took them to the fair one time when they were about seven years old. And they saw a clown, and I was like, oh, trying to like <laughs> go around, and let's go ride on one of the rides or something, you know. Because literally I get kind of nervous and my hands kind of shake and I get kind of, I get creeped out by it. I get, I mean, really, really, it really is a, like a disturbing thing to me. It makes my heart race and everything when I, I'm around them. I don't like them. I don't want them to touch me or anything. But my nephews wanted to see it so bad. And so we went back over to him and he was making the balloon animals and everything. And he was entertaining them and... My nephew was just so, like, enthralled by it. He just kept looking at his face goes, is you, is you a real clown? Are you real? You know, like, he really didn't understand that it was a man, you know, in a wig and makeup and, you know, in a costume and everything. And um, I could see right through it when I was a little kid. I was like, oh, no, no, this is creepy and I don't like it. And my nephews were so, you know, entertained by him and, made them little balloon animals and everything like that and I took a picture of it and uh then um I think as the years went by it got I got more and more uh creeped out by clowns as a teenager I just couldn't stand them and actually my dad he went to Mexico when he was he had a he used to fly planes he would do not commercial well yeah commercial but he would do um how do you say it? Like, uh, he flew the smaller planes, not a, not a, not for one of the larger airlines. Like, if people needed emergency extraction from wherever they were or something like that, he would. He was in Mexico at that time, and he was giving flights back and forth from the U.S. And um, he bought these uh, velvet paintings. They used to sell them all the time, and. You see them at flea markets and everything. They were real popular. And he bought me and my sister's one. And he... 
mine had a clown on it, you know, like a huge clown face. And it was like a foot and a half or two feet. It was big, you know. And we didn't hardly see my dad. We didn't get to be around him very much. And so because he gave it to me, you know, I hung it on my wall anyway, even though I, I, I literally couldn't stand it. And But it was, you know, one of the few things I ever got from my dad. So I kept it on the wall for about 10 years until I was a teenager. I think I took it down when finally when I was much older and uh, put it in the back of my closet or something. I think I sold it in a garage sale or something. But they just, I can't stand them. And uh, they just, they, they're just creepy. me. can't stand them. And there was this uh, time, I think it was a few years ago, when people were dressing up like clowns and they were standing on the side of the road or uh, some of them even went out to like stand like out in the country, like on a country road or something, waiting for people to pass by. And there's a lot of videos on YouTube. I don't know if they're real or not. I mean, I think a few of them are, but I think some of them are just, you know, made for the... They just made them for the video, just for the views or whatever. And there's one or two of them on where the clowns are walking up to the doorbells, like the ring doorbells and the video doorbells. And, you know, standing in front of it. And some of them had a weapon, you know, they were waving it around. And they were just total random creepy uh, videos like that. And that would scare me to death. And there is a movie don't remember, oh God, I can't remember, Pennywise the Clown, I can't remember, it, it or something, I don't remember what it, what movie it's from, I never did see it, I love scary movies, but I didn't want to see that one because it had that clown in, I was so scared of it, and <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous, but I, would, I do want to see it someday, uh, but that clown just gave me the creeps, and I had nightmares about it, I dreamed about it, and it's sharp teeth and all that, oh God, it used to scare me to death. And sometimes I would have to go out to my car to go get something in the middle of the dark. And I was thinking, oh my god, what if, what if there was a clown out there? <laughs> I was really that scared. And usually things didn't creep me out that much. But I was like, oh, I would take my big old pit with me. to. I was like, oh, come on, you got to go to the car with me. <laughs> I'm scared of the clowns. But I don't know. It's like a true phobia. I mean, I really get like uh, my chest starts like beating and my hands get shaky and weird and I get like I feel hot or you know I just feel like oh, when I see a clown and one time we were at a restaurant and they were, they were having a birthday party there and there was a clown there and I didn't see him when I came in I saw the little kids running around and I walked around the corner and I kind of turned my back and then I felt something brush up against me and I turned around like that. I mean, I nearly screamed. And I'm not really a, a screamer kind of person. But I lost my breath. I, I mean, I thought I was going to pass out right there. My knees kind of went wobbly like that. And he scared me to death, you know. And the look in his eye, like, he was more scared of my reaction, I think. But he thought he was being funny or something. But to a person who doesn't like clowns, uh, that's not funny at all. It's like kind of, I guess it's kind of childlike or something. I don't know why. No incident happened to me or occurred, you know, to make me scared of them. It just kind of developed or grew, you know, the older I got. It just, I don't know. I just, I don't like them. And I've met tons of other people that don't like them either. Tons of other people that are, you know, scared of them or have a issue with them, don't. They don't want anything to do with clowns. They don't like clown. Like I see a lot of clown. Um, like little ceramics or little decorations. Stuff like that. And there is a video. I don't know if it's on YouTube. But I've seen a video one time. This person that collected clown memorabilia. And. Oh my god. I mean it's just all over the room. I don't know if it was a man or a woman. I can't remember. But I mean that was just. That would be just an absolute nightmare if I would have woke up in a room like that. I would just die. I don't know if anybody has that kind of phobia, but uh, any viewers out there that do. But my sisters know I don't like clowns. They know, and oh, it just creeps me out. Just okay. That's just one of my biggest fears.
I don't like clowns. Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much.